selfies. <laughs> They're doing selfies, he said. <laughs> Hey y'all, does anybody recognize this house from a popular 70s television show? Hey y'all, it's Miss Katie. Welcome back to Heritage Ways, where we honor home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. And today we're at one of your favorite places, the original home of Earl Hamner Jr. who created the movie, the TV series we many of us know and love as the Waltons. And we are back here today in Schuyler, Virginia. I know many of y'all have watched our video about our visit to Walton's Mountain two years ago when our John Boy met John Boy, Richard Thomas, and that was a fun video, but we are back here in Schuyler today here for the opening of John and Olivia's Bed and Breakfast. How about that? So I'm glad you're here today, and I hope you enjoy this visit to Walton's Mountain. Hey, welcome morning. to another blessed day on Walton's Mountain. Welcome to Schuyler in a special day. For all those who are fans of the Waltons and Earl Hamner, I have the distinct pleasure this morning to begin us, I start off with a special prayer, and I'm going to break from tradition and read this prayer this morning. You may remember Perry Como's very famous song, Bless This House, and these words are so appropriate today. Bless this house, O Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. Bless these walls so firm and stout, keeping want and trouble out. Bless the roof and chimneys tall, let thy peace lie over all. Bless this door that it may prove ever open to joy and love. Bless these windows shining bright, letting in God's heavenly light. Bless the hearth ablazing there with smoke ascending like a prayer. Bless the people here within. Keep them pure and free from sin. Bless us all that we may be, O oh, fit, O oh Lord, to dwell with thee. And Miss Carol, I think we all would say amen to that. Amen. amen. Drusella from Drusella's Pond was a real person. These graves, these markers and graves were found when they were cleaning up this parking lot area and cutting down trees in order to build the bed and breakfast. Charles Norman Hardwick, born 1845, died 1912. And then his wife Drusella, wife of Charles Norman Hardwick died 1908. So how about that? Drusilla from Drusilla's Pond. Hey y'all, if you remember watching the video of where we came, that was two years ago, right. wasn't it? 
our friend we stood in line with, Patricia Elder. Uh, she's in that video, the, a photo. But this time, can you tell your, con your connection with the Hamner family? Okay. Uh, my father was that pastor for 14 years down here at the Little Baptist Church. And I was a month old when we moved away from here. So I lived here for one month, but he was pastor down here. So did you ever know the Hamners then? Our Met them later, yes. You did meet them later. Yeah. Now, you told me before, you got to go out, didn't you, to yes. see a filming? Mm -hmm. Or two? Yeah, didn't you saw two? See saw two? parts of two, yeah. Which, which, what episodes were they? Uh, the Moonshiner and the Obsession. Now, I can't remember which one the Obsession the was. That was the one when Mary Ellen was uh, addicted to uppers. Oh, okay. So that was later years. Yeah. Okay. It was 1978. Okay. Okay. So um, you've you've met Earl Hamner, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so four, four times. Four times. Mm -hmm. All right. Knew well, his mother. Knew his mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doris. Uh, Doris. Mm -hmm. What kind of person was she? Just as sweet as she could be. Oh. Yeah. Well, you were sweet. Thanks mm -hmm. for, I, yeah. I'm glad that we saw each other again <laughs> this time. Yeah, and me too. I know. And maybe, uh, Lord willing, we'll be back next year and we'll catch up again. All right. Good to see you. Good to see Thanks you. Thanks for talking to us. Sure. Oh, and you painted these awesome, beautiful paintings. Right. Of the of the Baptist Church. and of The, the ones on the home. set. Yeah, they're the California okay. ones. Okay. Okay. On the set. Yeah. On the set. Now, after that video that we made before, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have asked me, they were confused because they thought that um, that set on the house was the one that they grew up in, but that's two different ha uh, layouts right. of a yeah. house. Yeah. So um, This one here looks like a one on the show. It does. Mm -hmm. You've been inside and I haven't. Uh, Do you, well, have you I been just inside? Sneaked, just sneaked in the front room. You sneaked yeah. in? Okay. Well, we're about to go in and see some of the children, the child actors. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks They're for nice too. talking to us. You're All right. Welcome. Let's see who we can see inside. Another distinct honor to introducing a lady who has overcome what seems at many times insurmountable odds, and she's done so with a smile on her face and gratitude in her heart, and has given us all a gift for generations. And I think we all owe a huge round of applause for the keeper of the flame, Miss Carol Johnson. I'm here with Carol Johnson, who's the owner of the Bed and Breakfast. I'm excited for you. This vision Thank you. has come true. It Isn't has come awesome? true. And you've done a great job. So can you tell us a little bit about, tell our friends how they can find you and how they can, or, or a little bit about the Bed and okay. Breakfast. Uh, this is the grand opening of John and Olivia's Bed and Breakfast. It is inspired by um, the Walton's TV show House. There are five guest bedrooms with five baths, so it doesn't have one bathroom just like the Walton house, but otherwise inside and out, it looks mostly like the Walton TV show house. Um, my website right now is thewaltonhamnerhouse.com. 
you can go on that website and make reservations to stay here. And it's open year round. It's open year round. Okay. And starting with uh, the um, November first, two thousand nineteen. Yes. Right? People right. have already been booking since July. Okay, good. Uh, most of November is full, and um, then there are slots after that open. All right. Thank you. So we went into the kitchen area, and it is so exciting to be in there. And we were talking with some of the uh, actors, and they said it was fun to be able to be the inaugural guest. They are. Yes. So that's good. That's great that you let them do that. Oh, that, absolutely. That's, that's it's great. my pleasure to have them that's here. That's great. Well, we will put the information down below, and you can just click on the link in our description box. And and you can go straight to her the website that she mentioned. Come to the mountain soon. <laughs> Chamber of Commerce, we welcome the newest business, which is John and Olivia's bed and breakfast.